Hey YouTubers, my name is Menno, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, solve one of the errors that may occur in WAMP after installing it. And the error you could see is this one. It says, could not execute menu item internal error. This is due to Apache trying to use the same port number that another program is already using. So, as it says here in the error itself, the service has not been started because it can't start because it's trying to use the same port number as another program as you can see in the bottom right corner I've got Skype running right now which uses the same port number so if I start WAMP right now the icon itself from WAMP in the bottom right corner will not turn green because it's trying to use that same port number now in order to solve this problem we can manually change the port number to something else, like 8080, instead of the port number itself, which is 80. What you can do is click on the icon, and under Apache, click on httpd.conf. You will get this file, but it's, this file itself is barely readable, so we're going to close this one off, and we're going to open up our explorer, and we're going to go to our WAMP installation folder, which in my case is on my D drive. And down here it says WAMP. And we're going to the bin folder, then the Apache folder, and then the Apache 2. Point whatever your version is that you have installed. Open that. Open the conf folder. The CONF, and in there we're going to see the httpd.conf folder. Now, if we open this file up, it will default open in Notepad, which will make the file unreadable. So, if we're going to right click it, and under Open With, we're going to select uh, WordPad, or if you don't have WordPad in there, and click on um, Choose Standard Program to open this file with and I'm going to select WordPad. If it's not on the, on the top part here, top section, I'm going to click this little icon here, down arrow, and I'm going to scroll down until you see WordPad and just open it up with WordPad, hit OK, and now it's actually readable. And we're going to scroll down just a bit until you see this part right here where it says listen 12.34.56.78 colon 80 we're going to change this in the line below it we're going to add 80 to it and the line below that one this is actually a comment in the file itself so we're also going to change this one and we're going to save it Save the file, and we can close this file off. We're going to click on the bottom right corner on our WAMP icon, and we're going to click on Restart All Services. That will take a second, and now it will actually go green. Now, if you go back to our browser, and we type in localhost, you won't get to see anything because the port number has changed, so I have to put a colon and 8080 behind it. Now if we press enter we get our home page from WAMP. Now if I put a slash behind it and for instance look up one of my projects um, for example my video game database project as you can see it's still working. Now if I look up one of my other projects which is a WordPress website, there's another problem. This is only with WordPress because this is stored on uh, the database itself. This is one of my projects, it's called Old Website. As you can see, it's being redirected to the old one, which is localhost slash old website. So we're going to open up a new tab. And again, this is only for your WordPress installations. So we're going to go to localhost, colon 8080, 
slash php my admin. We're going to find the database that this website is connected to. And in my case, I know it's from the top of my head. It's the uh, WordPress migration database. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go to the WP options table. On the first line here where it says site URL under option name, I'm going to change this line. And behind the local host, we're going to add a colon of 80, 80 behind it. Click somewhere on a blank space and it will be changed. And the same thing with the home option. Under option name, home, same line, same thing. Add a colon and 8080 behind it. Click on some black space for it to take effect. Now we'll go back to our other tab here. We're going to access this website again on localhost colon 8080 slash all website. I'm going to hit enter. Give it a second, and there we go. So that's it for this video. If you, you like this video, please please hit like. If you have any questions or comments about this video or WAMP or WordPress or web development related, uh, please put them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day.